What's going on? Grind them all the way back in this thing again, man, with another video. And I want to weigh in on this whole Christopher Gilbert situation because it just didn't sit right with me, man. I, I've been looking at it on Twitter and, you know, the way it all turned out, it kind of just, you know, it angered me. But as you can see right here, it says aspiring Dr. Christopher Gilbert, who was pushing to Louisiana Lake, speaks out and defends the friend who did it. I knew Cassidy wanted to push me in for messing with her. So I kind of played into it. I misjudged the situation. So this guy is a coonologist, simp, omega simp idiot. The serial substitute is crazy with this guy. So if you don't know this guy, basically uh, he went with a group of friends to like a, a pier or something like that in Louisiana or something like that. And uh, they all knew that he couldn't swim. It's kind of a known fact that he couldn't swim. I don't know why he couldn't swim. Any grown person that can't swim, any grown man or woman that can't swim, you need to be slapped until you learn how to swim first off. But, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. He couldn't swim. He couldn't swim. You should learn how to swim. It's that easy to, to paddle your arms and legs. Go learn how to do it. Go get in a small three-foot pool and do it. You should not know how to swim. It's idiotic. But anyway, man, his whole crew knew he didn't know how to swim. He had a crew of white folks he was with. That's his first thing. He went with a whole crew of white folks. He's the only black dude. And I'm not saying all white people are bad, but I would say that there are enough white people that are willing to do you harm and the other white people are not going to do much about it. They're going to probably act like some poises about it because they're going to be like, well, huh, huh, because it's just like how the police are. The police do all this crazy stuff. And then, you know, you've got white people that do that know better. The, the white people that say crazy stuff, you know, you got white people that know better and they don't say anything about it. They don't do anything about it. They're not, they're not trying to correct their fellow man. They're just kind of like keeping it going. And that's the same thing that's going to happen right there. And then on top of that, we live in a society, we live in a nation that is, you know, meant for the white man. It wasn't built by the white man, but it's meant for the white man. So, uh, you know, normally whatever he says goes, unfortunately. So, you know, it could be like five of them and one of you and you've been to have the worst of the worst luck. And now uh, everything and all the proof is in the pudding. But they said, no, it, it didn't happen, it didn't happen. And now, you know, they're gonna say it didn't happen because the white folks said it didn't happen. So anyway, man, he got pushed into the pool. He laid under the pool for like a clean five to 10 minutes. They said he was pronounced brain dead at the point. And, and it was so bad that uh, his friend sat there and looked at him. So they kind of looked at him on some kind of like old school 80s movie type, Carrie type-ish. Where they, you know, they watch the, the, you know, demonically watch the friend drown in the pool, and they're just sitting there watching with a straight face. And then somewhere out of nowhere, a little dude from the restaurant had to come and rescue the dude. I guess he was like, "You dumb asses! You dumb asses! Go and get this guy out of here!" He so he, you know, he came down there and did his thing. And shout out to that guy. But uh, you know, it took him to come down there, and for some reason, he doesn't want to press charges against these people. If you don't find that this was malicious. Or at the very least, stupid. You're a chronologist, idiotic simp. That's all you are. That's literally all you are. Because this is definitely, this was definitely malicious. This lady, this, this lady knew he couldn't swim. Whenever a woman knows something about you, and she still does it in public, or she still does it to you to the point where you know it could get you into harm's way, then you should be out of that woman's life. That woman should be out of your life, rather. And that's the same thing. That's that's like a woman kind of arguing with you in public or something like that, like doing something. Just it's, it's not on the same exact level, but you get what I'm saying. I think if a woman is willing to do something that will cause harm or make you look silly in public or make you just look silly in general, then it's time to do away with that woman. She's worthless. And, and this joker is, is running around here talking about some, I don't want to press charges on her. He said, I don't want to press charges on this woman now. After he sat there and I went almost brain dead, this joker probably ain't gonna get no career. I, I hope, I hope this guy has the worst of luck. I wish him the worst. I hope that all the little doctor folks and all the practices be like, yeah, we don't want you, you're brain dead, you fucker. We don't want you, you're brain dead. And then, you know, all the little black doctors be like, oh, you a cool one, we don't want you got down. Get your hell, get your ass out of here. He just got down. He in there doing uh, Dr. Jekyll and Hyde type experiments just to survive. They're like, oh, Oh, you, you need some help, goddamn? Oh, uh, Dr. Gilbert can help you out, goddamn. He's he the, uh, the black market doctor. That's the only way he can get some success. But yeah, man, this joke is a retard. He's a retard, coonologist, simp. And then the fact is, like, so, so the girl that pushed him in, 
I guess was like his lover or girlfriend. I hope she was. I hope you at least splash that out and you bust that thing out good. A couple, two, three times you bust that thing out good to completion. She splashed all over you and all that because the way that you're suffering hard is is unacceptable. It's unacceptable, bro. She almost ended your life. Didn't even try to do nothing to help you. And you're willing to come out here and not press charges and then stay with her against your mom's will. So you're you're omega level something. You're the kind of guy that goes against your whole family's wishes. Your whole family is probably looking at you crazy, bro. They're probably like, oh yeah, he with that white bro. He with that white bro. And she do she she always did him harm. I feel like when the breakup happens for you, it's gonna be a horrible breakup. It's gonna be something real bad that happens. Because if she did something like this, ain't no telling what could happen. And what and what could you have done that you were messing with her that would make her decide, oh yeah, I wanna goddamn, I wanna goddamn push him in the water. I know he can't swim. And I know that could be a potential death situation, but I, I want to push him in the water. What could you have done? Because because he said, yeah, I was messing with her, and that's why she she pushed me in, so I, I misjudged. You are, you, are, you are a punk. You sound like a bussy, bro. You sound like a straight bussy. You straight garbaggio bussy with your trash-ass blonde hair that you got, bro. You got blonde hair running around here looking like Cisco, man. You a sucker, man. I can't stand it, man. I, a lot of jokes be like, man, I feel sorry for her. I, 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 I feel sorry for her. I feel, nah, bro, I ain't no feeling sorry for this joker, man. I hope, I wish him the worst. I absolutely wish him the worst. He think the white ice is, white ice is colder, and he got down, got that uh, Caucasian hypnosis, as they say out here in these streets, where, uh, you know, kind of like how everybody's been giving Daisy a pass because she has, you know, that, 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 uh, that bad accent and all that. So we think she's a little dumber and think she's a little less knowing than what she really is. It's kind of the same thing. Like we feel like, you know, some people feel like white people can't do anything malicious. They feel like white people can't be, be dumb. And that's what this guy is basically showing us right here that, you know, he thinks white people can't be dumb. They can't be malicious. He's giving the benefit of the doubt, bro. They all sat there and watched you drown. They knew you couldn't swim. These people knew you couldn't swim. These people were supposed to be your close friends. They knew you couldn't swim. They watched you drown and you still came out here and did this little bussy forgiveness. This little goddamn, this, uh, the Lord, the Lord, everybody need chant now, the Lord now, the Lord, everybody need chant now, the Lord now, the Lord now, the Lord now. But yeah, man, that's it for the video, man. I just wanted to goddamn, I wanted to goddamn let some, some, uh, some fireworks loose, I guess. Man, if y'all feel the same way, let me know. If you don't feel the same way, let me know. We're going to flame you up in the comments real good. Real good. And uh, if you watched up to this point, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see y'all next time.